In this review we're looking at lifting kits with spreader beams from Weiss Brothers. Kit 004 1501 is in Manitowoc Red, 1502 is in Liebherr Yellow and 1503 is in White. The kits are packed in a robust outer shipping carton and the box inside has a professional finish. So let's get on and lift the lid and see what's inside and there's plenty of nice quality foam packaging. From this view, there's no way of guessing which colour kit this is. Ah, beautiful Manitowoc Red. There are a lot of parts in the kit, so let's go through them and see what you get. Firstly, there are three rectangular beams, two are 100 ton capacity and one is 75 tons. They are nicely formed and they've got various lifting points. Next up are some tubular lifting beams. These are also in metal and very good quality. And you get four of a 50 ton capacity. And they're in two different lengths. And there are also two shorter 25 ton capacity beams. So there's plenty of flexibility in spreader beams. Next there is a variety of nylon web slings and they're nicely formed with heavy duty loops on the end. You get 24 of these in total and that's six each in four different lengths. If you don't want to use web slings, how about some nylon rope slings? Once again, these are nicely made parts and they seem quite strong and a good job's been done to get them more or less the same length. There are 16 of these rope slings and they're provided in four different lengths. So once again there's plenty of flexibility within the kit. Let's get back to metal and there are wire rope assemblies. You get 18 of them in the kit and they're in three different lengths. Again they're well made with nicely crimped loops. There are also 12 chains with hooks. They're in three sizes and they've got a realistic small chain link size. Lastly, there are die cast shackles with working locking bolts, and there's 24 small and 18 large. So now we'll have a look at some of the examples we can use the lifting kit for. And the first use is simple, we can just use the parts to make up a nice load for a truck. And here you see the giant cranes etc hand crane loading the lifting beams without using any lifting beams. Let's now get on and assemble something more interesting. And it's nice to join the parts together using the little D shackles. They perform well and it's nice to do up the little locking bolts. And here we've made up a simple assembly using wire ropes. Of course, if you combine the parts together, you can make some interesting lifting scenarios. And here's a classic scene of a Liebherr LTM 1400 lifting a Rustin Bucyrus 22 Faith Shovel. You need to make sure you sling the load properly and it's best not to have a drunken crane operator like this one who's swinging the load about. The next thing we will look at is the lifting chains and here we're using them to lift a tower crane mast section. The hooks on the chains are fairly small, but you should be able to work out a way of slinging most loads. And once you've got it all set up, you can be confident about the chains holding the load properly. Here's another setup, and this time it's a Manitowoc 555 lifting an excavator. And here on Cranes Etc, we always like to go for realistic setups. And this time we have the Manitowoc lifting a giant plastic pig full of money. These lifting kits are a very nice accessory for anyone with crane models. They are high quality and well made, 
And the best thing of all is the variety of parts that you get. And that means a huge number of configurations are possible. So if you do have crane models looking lonely, these kits are outstanding.